we have a workshop coming up. Why are body sex workshops done in the nude? This is a big one. This is the great equalizer. Um, Betty put it together when she was in the orgy scene of the sexual revolution. It's how she became an activist because it wasn't equal and the women were faking. But a big part of it was everyone who entered the room had to be nude. Mm -hmm. And what she saw was that when we're all nude, guess what? There's no status symbols. We don't have mm -hmm. fashion and jewelry. We don't know what someone does for a living or how much money they make. And we start to see the diversity in the human form. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it because when we see lots of nude bodies, it's like the diversity is the exciting part. Yes, yes. Seeing real bodies, being nude with other real nude bodies helps you love your body more. There's research on it. And that's what happens. I mean, I can't imagine how I would feel now at 50 if I hadn't done 15 years of nude workshops. It's mm -hmm. almost like knowing how the body ages, seeing mm -hmm. the beauty in all of it. I mean, women would come in with all kinds of scars and conditions. And you know what? It, it, everyone was beautiful. Yeah. I, it, I don't know. We're pack animals. We're social, mm -hmm. right? And what we've done is sexualized nudity. We're all yeah. nudity is sexual. And that is not true. Only a small piece of nudity is sexual. Yes. Yes. Carlin, for me, taking my clothes off was my biggest hesitation about taking an in-person workshop. And I know we've talked before and I've, I've, I've said it about how, how I was just sweating bullets, like, you know, coming up, <laughs> walking to Betty's door, knocking on the door. I didn't let it stop me from coming, but it was a big deal, even bigger than masturbating with a group of women. It was just taking my clothes off because I held so much body shame. And the fact that I took my clothes off spent time in a body sex circle with acceptance, seeing other nude bodies, listening to the stories of how women felt about their bodies. It shifted everything for me. Uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm completely different. Um, so I think sometimes when you take that step uh, and, and maybe overcome an obstacle that you think, oh, no, I could never do that. You know, well, you can. <laughs> and, and it changes everything. And we should be comfortable in our bodies. Mm -hmm. We should be comfortable to walk around nude. And the way we get comfortable is we do it. Mm -hmm. Right. It doesn't mean that we're not challenged. It doesn't mean that we're not nervous. Mm -hmm. That's why I would always answer the door. And when you come to the workshops, we greet you in the nude. We're equals. Mm -hmm. We're bowing our heads. We understand. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think any of us look at our bodies and it's so hard to go to those critical places. Right. But being nude in a group makes you feel better about being nude in every other aspect of your life. It's interesting. And the women that were the most nervous about the group nudity were always the ones, the most liberated and most relaxed mm -hmm. by the end of the workshop. It was mm -hmm. fascinating. Yeah. And they would say, you know, I can be nude with my partner. Or I could be nude with my family. And you're right. I could go to a topless beach. You mm -hmm. know, I can accept myself and understand that we're all nude in the group. Right but mm -hmm. it's not sexual. We're yes. stimulating our own bodies. We're sharing energy, but there's a firm boundary. And mm -hmm. I think that's another thing is that when we can be nude and be in control and have a boundary and mm -hmm. experience joy and friendship and sisterhood, mm -hmm. it's a whole new way of seeing yourself and seeing the world. Yes, yes. I also think that being nude gives us, we're all on the same playing field, right? We're all equal. It also gives us a bit of shared vulnerability, mm -hmm. which I think helps get you to emotional vulnerability more quickly. I'm always amazed by the shares that the women make during the opening questions. How do I feel about my body? How do I feel about my orgasm? And how deep they can go. Because they've already jumped into the pool, right? By taking their clothes off. Well, and, and they're only 10 minutes into the workshop. Right, right. <laughs> <You know>? right? <laughs> so th I think nudity gives that shared vulnerability that, that really supports the workshop and the sisterhood and the bonding among women. 
And it's amazing how quickly you're right. It happens. Mm -hmm. And that's the brilliance of Betty Dotson. She mm -hmm. experienced it. Then she put it together and goes, Carlin, the only thing I knew when I started body sex is I was going to get a circle of women together and we would be nude. Mm -hmm. And then everything else would fall into place and all the rituals would happen. And I just knew that's the only thing I had to do. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to experience group nudity with us, we're headed to Menla in upstate New York, May 6th through 9th. It's a wonderful, immersive four-day experience. We will both be there. Yes. Nude. 